Hope you ball, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to the next episode of Minecraft Quick Build Challenge Pro Trials! And yes, I am divine! Actually, that, that actually just looks like I've got a massive, really bright, glowing growth on my head that's probably a serious medical condition, and if I went to any established hospital, they'd look at me like some freak, probably detain me, and do horrific experiments on how I've managed to grow a bright, glowing, as just a fiercely as the sun growth on my head. I would be both a freak and a marvel of science, and overall, my life would change drastically. And honestly, I'm gonna go submit myself to um to medicine. So, bye everyone. See you later. I'm going now. Bye. Bye. Goodbye everyone. Bye everyone. They rejected me because I was too annoying. All right, guys, let's get this pro trials on. We have a brand new round two today. Ooh. Round one, three, two, one, go! It begins. It be. It. Be I did it, guys. Did it. I managed. Me, all me. Just gonna get some night vision real quick. But I managed once and for all to do. A thing! I can't actually remember what it was that I managed to do, so I'm actually kind of kind of floundering right now. I'm, I'm being a fish, I'm being a flounder fish, I need to cover myself in dirt and then hide from prey. What was I doing? What, what did I do? What did I manage to do? Guys, guys, what did I manage to do? Get the night vision! Did was it get the night vision? I don't know, I'm so confused! Shut up, Frank! Okay, so, round one, I've reduced it to six blocks, just because I think that's a little bit more challenging for our contestants. Also, oh, I totally, um... Totally forgot to do, to do the, to do the, to do the, um, signs, I mean, um, I, I, I didn't, I mean, that was deliberate, it's so we can do a brand new section, Rage does the signs live, oh, the time, should probably, probably have put the, um, I am a, I am a terrible, terrible human being, a failure at life, a shocking host, and honestly, I'm going to commit Honorable Sudoku. Okay, so combatant one, we have all oh, is he listening? Yes, he is here returning, trying to prove that he is one of the best builders to have ever graced my arenas. And then over in combatant two, we have Zorbob, who is the king of all squirtles. Look at him in his majestic splendor, his crown of gold signifying that he will rule all Pokemon. And then over in combatant free. We have Sir Twitchington, which is actually a really, really good name, and he just looks like a right dapper individual, a good adventurer, ready for anything, charismatic. He is here to stay and build all day. Twitchington! That's the vibe I'm getting from him. And then over in Combat 4, we got Dirt Caveman, Rectscape, who is wearing trimmed golden rune armor from RuneScape, but in Minecraft games being mashed. Boom, 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 boom. That's the game's mashed sound. And he wrecked Scape, so now he's here to wrecked MC. Indeed, in the next game he plays, his name will be Wrecked MC, because he's already wrecked this game, and he needs to move on with his wrecking career. Really cool build, though, doing a creature in a dirt cave. I mean, it's awesome. A lot of you love this round one, which I'm really happy. A few of you did have concerns that it wasn't sort of pro trialsy technical enough, but it really is, because think about it. On the mostly spot, you have to use six blocks in a tiny amount of space to come up with a cool build and finish building it. That requires a lot of precision, a lot of speed placement, a lot of fast thinking, and honestly, a lot of skill. So it really, really is quite a good, new, interesting challenge. Mr. Snake Wars! Just built a, you know, a, a nice ground, you know, wooden, sort of dirty ground with melons. Dirty ground, what you like, I know what you like. Ooh, duh. Never quote me on that, actually. Never, never quote me on that. Zorob has gone for a nice flatter ground with various, like, melon men and a pillar of purple. I'm not sure what he's doing. And the Twitchington has built a greenhouse. That's a really neat idea. Look at the different directions they've all got in. We've just six blocks. That's really cool. I love the idea of doing a greenhouse. And then Rexcape, the creature in the cave with a tree. I think by far is my favorite at the moment. But we shall see how Hissy chooses to finish his build. Is that like a rocket ship made out of melon? I, I feel like it is. 
Oh, no, it's got arms. Okay, no, it's a creature as well. What is it with melon creatures? I just don't understand. I guess, I mean, they are using their melons. Because <laughs> it's a word for head. Yeah, I'm just so good. And stop. Round one is over. Definitely like Creature in the Cave the most. I think that is by far the best. And I love the idea of a greenhouse. He's going to get second. And then his, his melon monster is better than Zorbob's melon monster. So let's move on to the brand new round two. You see these big ass blocks of clay. Well... Are you excited? Because you should be. Round two, three, two, one, go! What this round entails is each contestant has a massive block of clay. It'll be a new type of block each week if this is the round that we use. On their signs, there will be a random bit of information. For example, Mr. Rexcape has tree. If we go over to Mr. Sir Twitchington of Twitchington, he has city. And they all have various different things. And what they must do in the time limit is delete blocks as fast as possible, carving out with their bare fists. Bear Fist! Of course, Explosive Bomber is here to, uh, to cheer on the bromance that is going on. And with their Bear Fist! Roar, carve out an A thing from their sign into this clay. And then Hissy the Snake has to do an animal. And I realize the main thing that will crop up is what if some of the things on the signs are easier than others? And that potentially could happen, but I will give more consideration to a difficult one done okay, to an easy one done well. So transport is Zob Bob's one. Look at them really going for it quite well so far. I'm liking this. I think this is going to really test them. You cannot have a better test of technical skill than carving something out in a time frame. Talking of time frame, the contestants will get f six minutes for this one, so two lots of the 180 timer. So I think that's good. We've got round one, a mini creative palette based version of round two, and now round two is a true difficult on the spot skill based carving challenge. So Sir, Sir Twitchington has to do a city, so what he's doing is obviously carving out buildings, which he's actually doing a pretty good job of. Also, contestants cannot replace any builds. Any builds? They can't replace any builds. They can't replace any blocks, so they really have to be careful when it comes to deleting it. Zorbob doing a rather good job at doing some transportation, I would say. I think I can see what he's going for. Here's a little snake. Typically has to do an animal, given he is one. What's it going to be, though? He's going for a very square approach. Zorbob looks a little bit confused. Honestly, he's kind of just deleting things and seeing what happens. The city is definitely doing quite well. He's carving out buildings of different shapes and sizes. I'm liking it. And then over in tree, he's turning the entire thing into a tree because this is like the trunk on the bottom and he is just deleting this all to look like foliage so it's like a massive square tree that's a really really neat idea i'm liking watching this slowly form especially to see how zorbob's transport ends up taking form and i think two lots of the 180 is a perfect amount of time for this one and we do have a weekly today which will be of course happening during the memory build so do not fret and let me know what you think of this round. Obviously, I'm open to criticism. This was suggested by quite a few of you in some forms. I've modified it, of course, and I, this is where we've arrived, so I like arriving here. Maybe we'll use Zorbob's transportation to get here. He's kind of decided on this form. That's pretty good. It's pretty good, but he can't fill in that hole in the floor, which is a little bit worrying. His little snake still trying to build his animal. Not quite sure how he's going for it. I think maybe we've got a belly here, so this is obviously going to be a mouth if he's turning it all into it. The tree is really fantastic, but of course the tree is the easiest of the signs, so he he gets the least amount of, oh, he did it, consideration. But he does have a good shot at actual skill consideration, so it is kind of balanced. All right, let's go start the next lot of 180 seconds. And boom, go, keep going, keep going. Next one is on, looking good. Zobob has got... Yeah, he's getting there. Maybe he's going for a train. Oh, a tunnel. A train tunnel. That's a really, really good idea. He does like trains, but there's still three minutes left. I would start building more things. Z Z Zob. Z Zob. There's like over two, two, two minutes left, man. C come on. C come on. Come on. What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? You go, go back to play. 
Oh, that's what the timer means. Ah, oh, and Mr. City Man had the, the most challenging thing to do, and he is doing really well, carving out skyscrapers, having a city street. If it was me personally, I would have left in the bottom layer to be actually the city street, but again, he is under a lot of time pressure. And I absolutely love the idea of Mr. Rexcape turning the entire cube into a tree. That's a really, really neat idea. Just got to fix my OCD there on those, because it has to remain absolutely flawless. Absolutely flawless. So Mr. Hissy with his animal correct is I'm not completely sure what he's doing but I mean it's kind of an animal really yeah, I don't know and actually what I thought would be cool on round two is to not show you guys what was on their signs until the end of the round so you can have fun at home guessing what you think the contestants are building do you think that's a really I, I like that I think that's a good way of doing round two as well so you guys can get more involved so let me know what you think of that I have to say his way of doing the tree is really quite spectacular his, his animal is um less animalistic than I would have would have imagined. Not sure. It's just like a random thing. I'm not like, what, 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 what are you? He's made a face, a, a creeper face. I, I guess he's he's managed. I am really liking the train in the tunnel. That's a really neat idea from Mr. Zorbob. And of course, the city is doing a nice job. We've got like some house building here. Awesome. I'm really happy with this round too. It's working a lot better than I expected to. Should I keep it as clay or should I generally change the block that they're carving each week? I'm not actually sure. But this is certainly... Oh, he's even fancying up the buildings now. Such witching Turner. What a baller. 30 seconds left. Oh, 30 seconds left. How will they ever deal with this? The tree is looking good. The tree is looking Looking good, apart from this sort of edge bit here, not quite as good. And over here, the trunk's not really done, but from the front, it is looking rather special. I probably would have also carved a chamber inside the tree, just for a little bit of extra detail. And we do have a face, I suppose. We do have a face. Um, he's got five seconds, though, so I don't think he's going to really finish much of it. But, he, I mean, he's trying. He is trying. And stop! Ah, okay. Here's the... What 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 animal is is this? What what did what did you do? I, I want to know what what is. Okay, all right. Tell me. Right. All right. Here we go. We we'll go through the mind of Fizzy. So, okay. Right. So, there are little holes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There are. That where a fox, where, where a fox. Okay. Little holes where a fox has burrowed in to make its home. Okay. All right. I'm liking that. Yep. However, however, guys, the twist is happening, as evident. Okay. In the build. Yep, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you so far, hissy. Yeah? Come on, there is evil and destruction, so the foxes are dead. I... I, I was with him all the way, but I think maybe he just... He, he lost it at the end, just a little bit. I think the train in the tunnel definitely needs to be third. I think that's a really... Really, really cool. There's also a worm. Oh, yeah, I do see the worm. I do see the worm, but I do think he could have done something better when it came to that. And I think the tree is just... Although, the tree, to be fair, he did have a tree. So, you know what? I'm actually going to give this to... I, actually, I think it might be Train Tunnel Man, just because that's such a neat idea for transportation, because transport out of a block is not easy, so I'm going to give it to him, I'm going to give second place to the tree, and the city, simply because, while it is a city, he did just carve out squares, whereas you could have done something a little bit more unique, so it's kind of a hard round to judge, but I am liking it, so, let's move on to the memory, ladies and gentlemen, in but a moment, uh, let me know how, of course, you think of that round two. Ooh. Oh, we are now ready for the memory build for today, so let's do this! Round three, three, two, one, go! Let me go activate the sand wall of doom! And today it is doom because... Let the challenge... Commence! And it is... A plume of lava erupting from the bowels of the earth in a sort of... Fashion, yeah, fire, broom, ah, 10 seconds to look at it, oh, crazy, ooh, mm, oh, rah, rah. this is, sounds the, sounds the lava's generally, 
generally making, you know, just just good old <laughs> signs and down it drops to close the build and away they must go when it comes to <gasps> Okay. <sighs> nearly had a nearly had a heart attack there, but but I managed it guys. I managed it. Let's go see exclusive bombers weekly today. It is going to be Boom! This week we visit the graveyard. You never seen a more protected graveyard than this, okay? Alright. Okay, see so we're in the graveyard. The Royal Graveyard. Okay. The royal bodies must be protected. Traps activated. Security activation. Manual parkour engaged. Okay, good. Like a bit of manual parkour. Lovely. Better than automatic parkour, you know. Just gotta have that automatic feel to it. I will infiltrate this grave. Got a sword. Oh my god, it's a giant zombie! Ah, kill it! Kill it with fire! Or, or stab it in the knees! Good. Stabbing it in the knees worked rather well. Milk! Okay. I'll have milk now. And boom! Ah, oh, awesome! We find the gardener, the flowers are unsymmetrical. <laughs> here lies the great and powerful Jurassic. Ah, oh, here lies the legend of fortune. Indeed. Back to the arena. If Rage killed a Pokemon after I built this, then it ain't my fault. Oh, it just means Rage is better Pokemon. Oh yeah, Defire is a stinky cheeseburger. Okay, bye. Beautiful. Absolutely Beautiful. Well done. Exclusive bomber. A rather entertaining weekly and nicely built, I have to say. So let's see how our competitors are getting on. Is it a snake? Oh, oh, oh. We're doing okay. He's got the ground, he's got the plume, he's got the lava. Nothing crazy. Uh, Mr. Rexcape, for some reason, has identified a gap between lava and plume. I'm not sure how he's managed that. I think maybe the fire is sort of screwing him over a little bit here. I'll give him a little bit break. And Sir Laughington is ignoring the guidelines on the floor, but he has got the base secured, but he's not started building the plume. And Zorbob! No real lava base going on, but he has got a nice plume going on. So actually, going on, I think that going on, that potentially Hissy has got the best thing going on. Hey! 35 seconds left. Hey, is Hissy actually going to win a round? Because as it currently stands, he most certainly is a Sir Twitchington, not doing the best of jobs. Zobob doing okay, but the base not as good as Hissy's by a fair margin. And Rexcape just, I don't know why he thinks there's a gap here at all in any way. And this is a little bit too square. So a very, very interesting memory, quite close. But I have a feeling that Hissy the Snake, assuming he doesn't cover up the lava, okay... And down comes the build boom! There it is, revealing the plume of fire once more. And it is victory for Hissy the Snake. Boom, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, he's got a seven point total. I think second place has to go to... He does have the height, but he does not have the... Yep, I think second place has to go to Mr. This guy over here. Who is he? Don't know. Not sure what I'm doing. And then this one has to take second to last. Yes, he does. Boom. And then, of course, last place over here. So, six points in fourth place. We have that guy. His little snake takes the next one. Four, five, six, seven. Yes. And then it is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus four, five, six, seven, eight. So, the winner is today, Rexcape by a very, very close margin, even with a second to last place place in the memory. So congratulations to Mr. Rexcape. I assume I've counted those points correctly. I imagine you guys will correct me in the comments if I if I haven't. But still, Rexcape. My name has been Rage. Remember to comment on the round two and like the video if you enjoyed it. It really does help me out, guys, and I do appreciate it. And it makes the channel do a lot better. And subscribe for more. A good boy. You've been watching